Hey guys, just before I get into this video, if you do fancy yourselves at any Ultimate Team coins, PSN, or Xbox codes, all that good stuff, you can actually get it at GameGoldTrader.com. If you use CalFreeze, you will grab yourself 10% off your Ultimate Team coins, so go ahead and check that out. I'll leave all the links down below so you can just go down there and click on that. Enjoy the video, guys. What is going on, people? And right now, it is something like 10 to 3 in the morning. But I'm doing this goddamn commentary because I said if it got 2,000 likes, you guys would get another video. And it might be late. It might be early in the morning. And if you're from the UK, then more power to you. Welcome to the Nocturnal Squad or whatever. But chances are you're probably from the US and it's probably normal times for you. So even better. I'm glad you have a good sleeping pattern. But let's not mess around. We're on transfer deadline day. I just signed Alex uh, Sandro for 7.5 million euros and on 80,000 a week and of course it is transfer deadline on the game but we actually just finished transfer deadline in real life and it was pretty entertaining some uh, some big purchases uh, more more notably uh, Falcao to Manchester United is a big one and uh, yeah anyways let's talk about here we're here to talk about Napoli and what's going on with Napoli so as you guys can see I'm taking a look at the center backs I'm still assessing our defensive situation like I said we so far at the back we've signed Alexandro and we've signed Bonucci now I want some more center backs. So what did I decide to do? I decided to uh, pick out a few names that I know of, some well-known center backs in the Premier League. I decided to take a look at them, uh, take a look at them, see if I can pick them up. Hoping to pay around 10 million for them, probably. Um, so you know, if I can get away with 10 million, that would be fa fantastic. And as you can see, so far I, I've looked at Sacco. Sacco had just moved, so that wasn't cool. Uh, we've actually got Mangala here from Porto, uh, and I believe if the squads had been updated properly, they would he would actually be at Chelsea. Um, I oh no, not Chelsea, is it Man City? Sorry, I think he went to. My apologies. Um, either way. Um, we have got some uh, interesting bids ahead. I really want David Luiz. David Luiz would be amazing to get my hands on. Uh, you know, what a center back. He is just a complete nutcase. And of course, on this game, he is just known for being that OP guy that you don't want to come up against. Next up was Koscielny. I like Koscielny in this game. He's, he's got some hell of a wage on him, though. Uh, 110,000 a week. Um, Euros, that is. And yeah, so I'm willing to pay the money for the right player. Decide to throw in his value. Uh, just hoping, hoping that we can get a final final center back in the dying moments of transfer deadline day. Now transfer deadline day on this game is it is poor if I'm honest with you. I don't like the way it's done. It's just it's not up to scratch, you know. Uh, it, and you guys are going to see I get really I get really pissed off actually. I'm not going to lie. I get pretty angry at this game. Uh, and I'll explain to you when it happens because uh, yeah, it just kind of annoyed me. But anyways, we got Adil Rami here, 27 years old, another player that I know is quality in this game. It's too late to make uh, to scout and, you know, that's really just down to my fault. That's not the game. That's, that's nothing. That's just me not thinking ahead and not scouting early enough. So, uh, you know, it was my first transfer window. I didn't have too much time to scout. But still, um, you know, I, I, I guess I had the summer to do it. And, uh, yeah, I left it just a little bit too late. Anyways, we get some offers in. Nope, I'm not getting rid of anyone right now because I'm not going to have time to bring them in. Um, you know, the players I want. We got four hours left. And uh, Adil Rami, unacceptable. Everything was unacceptable. Everything was rejected. How piss poor was that? That. I was not happy with that at all and uh, you know we need to sort the shit out because I really want a goddamn center back um, to go along with Bonucci that would be fantastic um, but yeah as you can see everyone just kind of gave me the middle finger and told me to go do one so I was like, okay, well, let me up my offer here. Let's see if we can uh, come to an agreement here. So I decided to throw in a bid for uh, Adil Rami. This time, 11 million. So gone up by 2 million. Hopefully, that'll do the trick. They want 11.5 million, but I don't know, man. Like, it's, it's, it's a principle. Like, I just don't want to rise to the price they've asked for because I don't know why in FIFA, I just feel as though I'm getting robbed all the time. We, we, we saw with Alexandro, they said they wanted 70 million. Are you out of your mind? I'm not paying 70 million for that left back. What do you know? Hit him with an offer of 7 point five and they grab it um so yeah another offer for uh Koscielny here and uh, only two hours left and this is where you know shit starts to get real again no emails in the two hours which was a bit like you know, it's not going to take an hour to get back to me. So that was a little uh, frustrating there. And it really leaves you really short on time. And that's exactly what I want to talk about. So obviously, I'm putting in these offers here. And if it was transfer deadline, and we're talking last hours, I should be able to get this sorted and, you know, and done and dusted. And they should be able to get back to me on that last hour because it's a transfer deadline day thing. And I get that obviously there are deadlines, but 
you know, if, if you're not going to be able to put in a bid and get all the paperwork done and stuff like that in two hours of the thing, then they shouldn't just, they should just not allow you to make a bid for the player, if that makes sense, you know. I gave myself some okay time there, but uh, yeah, anyways, we have this game here. Uh, I don't want to complain too much. All I'm saying is um, some of the, like, last minute deadline day stuff is just really irritating because I put in bids for them. I'm not going to be able to get those center backs and all because they didn't reply to my email quick enough, you know what I mean? It's just all a little bizarre. Um, but I don't want to complain too much. Like I said, we've got a game against Shivo here, and it's Napoli. They actually get a really early goal through your main man, Dennis, and that was that. That was uh, wrapping that up. And, uh, you know, uh, not a result I want, and it's something we should really be looking at because those are the games that I want to be coming away with three points. But we're back to the Champions League, and Champions League means Dortmund. And my God, my group is actually really tough in the Champions League, guys. Uh, I, I don't know, especially with a squad like Napoli. I feel, feel as though if I was maybe Maybe given a few seasons, I could probably uh, definitely do quite well in uh, the Champions League. But take a look at that, okay? Red card in the third minute. Right now, I'm thinking, yes, life is good. Life. Is, how, how have they done that? He has a red card. We might be bad. We, we might not be up to Dorman's standard. But we are not conceding when they have a red card. And then it goes 2-0. Like, what is this? What is going on with this game? If you get a red card in the third minute, that is going to really hinder your chances to get a goal throughout the entire game. And they go ahead and win 3-0. So I'm not too sure about that one, EA. I don't know if I agree with you on that. But so be it. If you think 10-man uh, Dortmund can beat... An 11 man Napoli uh, 3 0, then that, you know, that's on you. And I understand it wasn't a away game, so. I guess that plays a part too. Anyways, um, we have some more goodness and some more simulated games. Uh, this time it was against Atalanta and uh, the boys needed to pick it up. And Higuain is actually paired up against Pandev, or sorry, with Pandev, I should say, for this game because I wanted to give Juve a little rest. He'd been playing plenty of games. Anyways, we got Hamsic as well picking up a goal. Uh, Mertens comes on and what do you know, the main man himself, Mertens, gets himself a goal as well. So a super sub comes on. Um, unfortunately, it wasn't a clean sheet. A little disappointing, but uh, you know, a win's a win, and we just need three points. You know, the table, as you guys can see, always on the right. It's always on the bottom right. If you want to just uh, freeze the freeze the game when it uh, pops down to that screen, you're more than welcome to. But I think I'm currently sitting in fifth. But let's head on over to the press conference, and what do I do? I'm gonna motivate. I'm gonna praise. I'm gonna let the boys know that they've done done a decent job, and they need to go out against uh, AC Milan and give them a good game. Now. Now, um, in this, they still have Balotelli. Uh, the transfer, of course, uh, to Liverpool wasn't done in time um, for the latest squads, but so be it. This time, we have Juf and Pandev. Um, uh, like I said, I need to rest my players, and that's what's so great. That's why I'm so glad I did pick up a Juf, is because it allows me to have this really nice rotation of strikers, especially when I have such congested fixtures. Uh, I don't think I actually showed you on here, but I think I had like three games in five days or something like that, which was just absolutely manic. And, uh, you know, you're going to need depth and positions and that's what I have with this team which is fantastic I really really like it a lot of shouts actually in the recent comments which have said play Insigne he's awesome so I'm going to keep that in mind guys I really appreciate all your help with all this but the board tell me they are not impressed of course uh, a win against AC Milan would have been great um, they're a top Serie A side or well Maybe not, you know, maybe not last season, but you know what I mean. They're, they're a very well-known um, uh, Serie A side, and I really wish I had done better. But that's just the way the cookie crumbles sometimes. But we've got another simulated match. We've got so many games for you guys. Usually, there'll only be three an episode, but I have, um, while the transfers have been going on, I've had plenty of transfer talk to go on. But I decided to change some stuff up, okay? So, so far, the formation 4 one 2 one 2 just wasn't working out for me. Simple as that. There's no point being around the bush. It isn't working for me. I had an email from the board saying, sort your shit out, get stuck in, fix it. So I decided to go back to the Napoli default. This is the one I started with. And I just put, you know, put the team how I think it would be best. Higuain up front because he has been playing very well so far. He's been getting plenty of goals, so there's no need to change that. Uh, Hamsic, Mertens, Jose Callahan, and my two defensive mids, Giorgino and Behrami there. Anyways, we go 2-0 up really early on. Only two minutes between those goals. Hamsic picks up a goal himself in the 39th minute. They get a red card, follows by 
by a Mertens goal. That's 4-0. And, of course, with them having a red card, I'd like to think we could grab ourselves another goal. But, you know, what's to say that? Dortmund managed to beat us with 10 men, 3-0. So, uh, fuck logic. Right, EA? Anyways, Alexandro gets himself his very first goal for the club. I am so happy for him. What a guy. What a champion. And, uh, you know, maybe that 7.5 million is looking at mighty fine. Um, and we have another simulated match. But you guys are going to have to wait till next episode to find that out. I apologize there was no live commentary for this. I've just found myself on, a, on, on an entire uh, ramble, on a flow. And, uh, you know, when I'm just on this flow, I just can't stop myself. So, anyways, guys, I hope you did all and just enjoy this video. Thank you ever so much for all your support on this series. I hope you guys are enjoying it. I know uh, there's plenty of you guys uh, giving me tips and things like that in the comments, on Twitter, all that good stuff. Make sure you follow me on Twitter, at CalFreezy. Make sure you follow me on Instagram, at TheRealCalFreezy. Oh, no, not the real, just real Cal Freezy. Yeah, sorry, I changed it recently. And uh, yeah, so real Cal Freezy, follow me on Instagram. Have a fantastic day. I love you all, and I'll have all your babies. Bye bye.